Alright guys, we are going to be doing the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke Randomizer walkthrough. I'm very, very excited for this. I have not played the Sinnoh region in such a long time, let alone Platinum, Diamond, or Pearl. Um, and just seeing all of this brings back so many memories, and I'm very, very excited for this. Um, so let's just get right into it. So if you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, um, the rules are um, you, only, you have a certain amount of time to go to the Pokemon Center. And if your Pokemon faint, um, they are considered dead. And um, there's just a whole bunch of rules. So as the, as we go through, I'll I'll explain it. But uh, let's just get right into this. And uh, oh my God, the 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 title screen, the title screen. I have not seen this in such a long time. And uh, by the way, I'm playing this on my phone. Uh, my, right now my computer is broken. Um, so I can't probably have an emulator uh, with uh, proper uh, visuals over there. Uh, so the phone is gonna have to do for now, but once we get into another walkthrough, uh, I'll have my computer ready, but with COVID and everything, with the pandemic, um, it's very hard to find a store that's actually open to, um, uh, to get my computer fixed. So we're just gonna have to do with this. So sorry if the little, like, buttons from the emulator on the phone is interfering. I tried to hide that as much as possible, but, uh, hopefully it's fine. So anyways, let's just get right into it. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. And then we got Professor Rowan. Ah, oh, it's been so long. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further in this, your adventure... Uh, anyway. <laughs> if you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. Um, but we don't need any advice, so uh, we're just going to carry on. The world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball if you please. No, no, not that button. The button on the Pokeball. Hey, 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 chill, chill. Professor Ron, you need a chill, sir. And then we got a Benary there. I think in Diamond and Pearl, it is a Munchlax, actually. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times, we play together, and other times, we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop a closer bond with them. What do I do? I, I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? We're gonna, hmm. I'm thinking of, I've always gone as the boy. Um, but I'm thinking of going as Dawn. Um, you know what? No, I, we'll, we'll, we'll go with him. We'll, we'll go with him, so. Alright, so you're a boy. Yes, sir. I guess your eyes aren't working properly. <laughs> Anyways, tell me what your name is. I'm thinking of going with my real name just because flying DBZ doesn't really fit in here. So I'm just going to go with my real name. So we're just going to go with Michael. And that's my real name in case you did not know. Um, and I clearly don't know how to spell my my name. So <laughs> uh, so M. Uh, just to keep it short, I guess we'll just keep it as Mike. We'll just, we'll just go with Mike. Whatever. Um, your name is Mike. Yes, sir, it is. Okay, so you're Mike. A fine name that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. He just picked up a random boy on the street and like, he's your friend. <laughs> what might his name be? We're just going to go with Barry because uh, if you follow me on Pokemon Masters, um, Barry is in the game. So we're just going to go with Barry because we all know him as Barry. Barry it is. That's your friend's name? Yes, it is. The random boy you picked up up the street? That's his name, Barry. All right, Mike. Time the the time has come. Your very own tale uh, uh, of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokémon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on. Leap into the world of Pokémon. And there we go. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I am so, so, so excited. And having the Pokémon completely random is going to be very, very fun for sure. Um, and I'm very, very excited for this. Um, it's been so long since I've actually done um, Diamond and Pearl. So, like, all this is just going to be nostalgia. And uh, everything that's coming, like, um, um, the characters, the, the the routes and everything, the music. It's just going to be hitting me differently this time. And I'm, oh, I I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. Anyways, uh, the con that concludes our special program. Brought to you by Jubilee Life TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week.
and yeah, that's the little TV program. Um, I think Barry, yeah, there's our boy. Barry, hey, there you are. Yeah, we need to change the uh, the tech speed on this. This is way too slow. Hey, Mike, did you just see the, the TV? You sure did. Professor Rowans, that's really important, that, that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means we must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Yeah, he's just gonna, let's just ask him and then uh, he'll just gladly give us some Pokemon. Uh, where was I? Oh, right. We're going to see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Mike? It's, if you're late, I'm going to find you $10 million. Oh, man, this guy. <laughs> I remember his, uh, his like, little trait or his, like, uh, thing. Like, his old gimmick is, like, giving people, uh, fines. Uh, but yeah, like, the controls on this is just so annoying. On the, the emulator for the phone, like, it's all touch and everything. So, like, trying to navigate through it all is just going to be un <laughs> kind of annoying. Mike, Barry already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. This guy's always in a hurry, so we got to go before we get fined $10 million, I guess. Um, oh, yeah, before we do that, let's actually change uh, the tech speed very quickly, because... Yeah, I, I don't want to do this. Uh, switch to the... Yeah, we're going to switch that. Perfect. All right. Uh, the border is like the... Um, oh, wait. Oh, yes, Mike. Don't go into the tall grass. The wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So, well, take care, sweetie. <laughs> the little, like, thing. Um, yeah, and Platinum, I forgot, like, you actually, like, there's snow and everything. And, uh, like, overall, Platinum is, like, the better version of Diamond and Pearl. This guy with the thud, every time, I swear, <laughs> this is the one thing I remember about Barry. What was that about? Oh, hey, Mike. Hey, I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come, too. And quickly. I forgot something. Look at this guy. Oh, jeez. Forgot something. Yeah, now we have to go into his house, barge in. Um, just totally ignore his mom. Not even bother talking to her. Um, hi, Barry's mom. Um, and then we go up to Barry. I better take my bag and journal, too. Oh, hey, Mike. I'll be waiting on the road. I'll, it'll, it's a pay, it's, it's a $10 million fine if you're late. I swear, this guy has to be getting rich off of giving fines to everyone that he just talks to. He's like, if you don't heal my Pokemon to full health, you're going to get fined $10 million. <laughs> this guy is probably just going around doing that. So if we lose a Pokemon battle, I mean, if we win, I should be expecting $10 million. Like, if you lose, I'm going to fine you $10 million. What are you going to do, Barry? Too slow. Hey, no, I'm not giving you nothing. All right, let's go move into Professor Rowan's lab. What? Don't go into the tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one. I've got an idea. Now listen, you know the wild Pokemon jump out when you go into the tall grass. So, what we what you do is, you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. <laughs> <laughs> Only if it was that easy. Um, if we just keep dashing, we can get into the into uh, Sandem Town without running into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. This guy is gonna go. He's getting ready. And no. <laughs> Hold on. Hold it. Oh man, I love this. I'm I'm having so much fun already. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? <laughs> They're just looking at each other. It's like nothing. They're both turning into red. Hey, Mike, this old guy is Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? <laughs> this guy is just being so disrespectful to the professor. They tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on the path? What's he going to do? You too. You truly love Pokemon, do you? Yes, sir, we do. Me too. I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You too. You truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We'll both answer a hundred times. We love Pokemon. Right, Mike? Yes, we do. We definitely love Pokemon. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own? It worries me what people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I, uh... <laughs> well, now forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. How big of you. 
Very well then, I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly en endanger yourselves again. Now then, hmm, where are- now where are we? Dawn, there she is! I was wondering when she was gonna come. Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Ah, the typical, I remember this, the briefcase. Oh, is something wrong here? There it is, Dawn, nice work. What I was about to do was to entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Pardon? These Pokemon are hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? <laughs> we we ex uh, uh, we exit we uh, we exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when Pokemon should meet, or when people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, today is the time, the place right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan, I can't believe it, I'm so happy. Now, I guess we're going to be choosing our Pokemon, and from here on, um, it is going to be completely random. So normally we would get uh, Turtwig, Piplup, or uh, Chimchar, but with the randomizer, it is going to be completely different. And uh, I this is on Route 1, so I think this would be considered as Route 1 Pokemon. Um, so, like, I guess if that's the case, we're not going to catch any other Pokemon here, but, um, so this is going to be our first Pokemon for the journey, and, uh, who are they going to be? Uh, so we got Starly, okay, so this one's going to be Starly, it shows Turtwig, but it's going to be Starly, that I don't want, um, who's this one going to be? Arcanine, <laughs> oh, man, that's going to be insane, Arcanine, uh, and then we got, uh, Chinchow. All right, I think I'm gonna go with uh, Arcanine. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Yes, we're gonna go with um, Arcanine. Um, I think for the randomizer Nuzlocke, I'm thinking of going with uh, Chinchow just because. Oh wait, no, that. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, we'll we'll go with the, we'll go with an Arcanine. We'll go with an Arcanine. Barry, then I choose you. I'm pro I'm picking this one. Very well, both of you have chosen good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have chosen entrusted with an unfamiliar with this world. In that regard, there's much like you. They're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any troubles, come see me at my lab in San Sanjem Town. And now, we'll be on our way. The <laughs> oh, man, this is awesome. This is awesome. Professor, wait for me. I'm sorry, please, let me pass. I mean, we were letting you go through anyways. Okay. How do you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. This guy is just uh -oh, running in place. Mike, we've both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Yeah, I'm ready for this battle. Let's go, Barry. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Mike, I challenge you to a battle. Let's go. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, look at Barry. Oh, I think this is the first time they actually had uh, trainers moving a little bit in uh, in, in Platinum. This is actually cool. Oh, so that's uh, Chin Chow. I forgot about that. Um, okay. Uh, so we are limited on uh, healings and everything too. So we got to pick our attacks wise wisely. So he definitely has a water type attack. Um, and I think our moves are going to be random as well for each Pokemon. Uh, so imagine this guy has Hydro Pump. That's going to be annoying. <laughs> imagine losing on the very first episode. Um, okay, so you know what? Let's actually go with a Bite. Because maybe we could also flinch Chincha. Um, oh, Super Sonic. That's going to be annoying. Oh, I hope we don't get uh, flinch. That, that would be super, super annoying. Um... I would go for Fire Fang because Fire Fang is fight, uh, stronger than Bite, but it is a fire type move and we are going against uh, a water type, so it's it's not going to work that well. Uh, but we did flinch him, so that's good. That's good. Um, and uh, there we go. We knocked out Chin Chow. Our first win and uh, a flawless victory actually too, so <laughs> that, that actually worked out well. And there we go. I think I'm going to end it off over here. Um, and then for the second episode, um, obviously it will be a little bit longer. I think it, it, it's appropriate to end it off over here. We got our first Pokemon. We got our first win. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. But actually, you know what? We'll end it when we get to the next city. We'll, yeah. Phew. Let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs rest too. See ya, Mike.
And uh, that's that. And I think we're going to heal up there too. Our mom's in the kitchen cooking us some food after that intense battle. Oh, that's awesome. What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you? You and Barry are lucky to have, me have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you. Mike, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sandgem Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so, uh, won't be so threatening. Alright, so let's go. Oh, I guess. Oh, I know. Mike, put these on. Mike received a pair of running shoes. There we go. We got some running shoes. Going to Sandgem Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can go to faraway places much faster. Okay. Let me read the instructions. Like, imagine you actually buy running shoes at a store, and, um, and, and like, they just have instructions on how to use them. You put them on, and then you walk. There you go. <laughs> well, isn't that nifty? It, it, was that was that it? Isn't that nifty? Okay, okay. anyway. <laughs> Let's go. Now we can actually run, so we're going to be able to move much, much faster. I mean, not really. This is probably the slowest Pokemon game when it comes to running, but that's okay. Too slow, Mike. I'm sick of waiting. Hey, hey, you need to calm your you need to calm down. <laughs> I'm gonna see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So I had this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake you know that lake where we always play at? You know that they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon. They'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of it. Me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. I guess we're going together. Alright. Let's run together. Let's run together too. The way he runs, it, it is so funny and awkward. <laughs> Alright, we're at the lake. Get ready because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one. It's here. It even says so on the sign. Wait, does it actually? The I think it says the Lake Guardian or something. What's going on? Oh, we got uh, Cyrus over here. The following time. The, expend the expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can. Legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Of the lake bed. Okay. And there's Cyrus. Allow me to pass. Step aside. Huh. After playing Pokemon Masters, I see I view Cyrus a little bit differently now. So that's actually... Hmm. I was not expecting that. What was that about? Weird guy. You think he's weird, Barry, but he's actually a very cool guy. Okay, Mike, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Qua! I'll stop that. <laughs> a little bit cringy. Barry is like panicking frantically. Did you hear that, Mike? That was the legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. This guy is so fixated on trying to catch this legendary Pokemon when we just got our first Pokemon. <laughs> Wait, what? We, we don't have anything on us. Yeah, you don't say. You know Pokeballs. Pokey... Pokey accent e balls. <laughs> what? What is going on? If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon at, or them around us with... Uh, my, my reading, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you think Professor Roan give us some if we ask them? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at the lab if we needed anything. Okay, Mike. I'll race you. First one to Professor's lab in uh, San Gem Town rules. All right, let's go. Let's go to San Gem Town and talk to the professor and giving us some Pokeballs. Let's go. So who's gonna be the first Pokemon we're gonna encounter? Um, since we got our starters over here, I don't know if this would actually count as uh, like Route One, in, uh, like uh, Pokemon. So I guess we're not gonna catch any Pokemon on this route over here. Plus we can't even do it. We can't even do it anyways, just because we don't have any Pokeballs. Um, oh, we got a Tangela or a Tangrowth. Wow. Okay. Um, but yeah, we can't even catch it. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I would definitely want to uh, catch this guy if I could, but I don't have any balls yet. So yeah, we're gonna have to pass up on that. This is gonna be so fun, just seeing uh, what kind of trainers would have, uh, or the trainers, what kind of Pokemon they will have as well. Um, so it seems like that's gonna be it. Um, we'll pick off where we, uh, like, we're gonna end it here. And then for episode two, we're gonna pick up where we left off over here. Um, cause I don't want to make the first episode, like, too, too long. Cause I want to know what you guys think of this so far. 
Um, like if you want it to be long or you want it to be like average size, like around like 15, 20 minutes long per episode or something like that. But um, I'm going to leave it off over here. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm very excited for uh, for doing this. Uh, I'm probably going to continue it regardless because uh, I'm actually really, really enjoying this. And doing the randomizer in Nuzlocke, um, it, it, like it's opening up uh, my eyes when it comes to doing these playthroughs. Because doing Nuzlocke, randomizer and everything, it's just so much more fun. Um, because like doing these kind of Pokemon walkthroughs, uh, normally it is super easy. Um, but, uh, going through it again with the Nuzlocke and adding more of a challenge, it is super, super fun. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this walkthrough. Um, again, sorry if you guys are, uh, are like, if you can see like the buttons from the emulator and everything, like it's on my phone, like I said. Um, so once I get my computer fixed, um, I'll have the, uh, like a proper layout and everything. But for now, this is what we're going to have to do deal with, I guess. But, um... That's going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below on, uh, on how you're feeling with this. Um, and that's going to be it. And I'll see you guys later.